Welcome to Technology and Livelihood Education. Modatag Curriculum. Information and Communication Technology for Grade 7. Our topic is Spreadsheet Software, MS Excel, Data Table. The content standard for this lesson is to demonstrate an understanding of using productivity software. Performance standard, the learners perform the utilization of productivity tools in a safe and responsible manner. <music> Fill the missing letters to complete the words. Did you got this right? In Microsoft Excel, a data table is a tool used for analyzing and displaying data in a structured way. It helps you to visualize the impact of different variables on a set of results. Data tables are particularly useful for sensitivity analysis, where you can see how changes in input values affect the output of a formula. Data tables are dynamic and will update automatically if the input values or formula changes. They work best with straightforward formulas and a reasonable number of input values, as a large number of calculations can slow down your worksheet. By using data tables, you can efficiently conduct various scenarios and analysis, making it a powerful feature for decision-making and forecasting in Excel. Once you've entered information into your worksheet, you may want to format your data as a table. Just like regular formatting, tables can improve the look and feel of your workbook. They will also help you organize your content and make your data easier to use. Excel includes several tools and predefined table styles, allowing you to create tables quickly and easily. Formatting data as a table. This is how to do it. First, select the cells you want to format as a table. Then, from the Home tab, click the Format as Table command in the Styles group. You can now select a table style from the drop down menu. Then, dialog box will appear, confirming the selected cell range for the table. If your table has headers, check the box next to My Table Has Headers, then click OK. The cell range will be formatted in the selected table style. Tables include filtering by default. You can filter your data at any time using the drop down arrows in the header cells. This is how to do it. First, select the cells you want to format as a table. Then, from the Home tab, click the Format as Table command in the Styles group. Then select a table style from the drop-down menu. Then a dialog box will appear, confirming the selected cell range for the table. If your table has headers, check the box next to My Table has headers, then click OK. The cell range will be formatted in the selected table style. You can sort the table by clicking the drop-down menu.
The items was sorted from A to Z. The profit was sorted from largest to smallest. After creating the data table, Excel populates the table with the results of the formula based on the input values you provided. This allows you to quickly see how changes in variables affect the outcome of your formula. Adding formula in the table. A time to remember. This is Mylene Huliganga. Thank you for watching.